Es wird auf dem Weg nach Genf darum gehen. On the way to Geneva, the aim will be to drive the A3 as economically as possible. This means the driver should of course exploit the fuel consumption potential the A3 offers. This naturally includes a predictive style of driving. It also includes switching the Audi drive select into efficiency mode for example, and the driver then controls everything else through the accelerator. In seinem Gasfuß. Ich habe mir so eine Sache überlegt, I've thought up one thing for that, the sawtooth tactic. This means always giving just a tiny little bit of gas in the lower speed ranges and then let the car roll. Driving consistently without braking abruptly or anything like that. It'll probably push me to my limits to not drive fast. Yes, exactly. Our strategy is to win, period. That's all. The end. What's our tactic? Slipstreaming. Keep a nice safe distance, right? Slipstream driving isn't the solution. What would be your tip then? Where will we finish? What kind of fuel consumption will we have when we get to Geneva? I think because of the weight, uh, when we want to compete, we'll have to, I think, be lined up pretty close to the other three cars when it comes to consumption. So we'll probably be somewhere between 3.8 and 4.2. What does the fuel gauge say? It could be better. And yours? Yeah, we're now at about a current level of 4.5. Niedriger! Lower. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and you're really keeping your eye the whole time on the current consumption, because it's really the only way you can assess whether you're giving one millimeter too much gas or not. Right now, if they're telling the truth, we're about 6 to 10 kilometers ahead of those two. So we're now here at Lake Constance, unlike the others. It's about 20 meters. There, 20 meters in that direction. A home team advantage could be put to use here. We're getting a couple of tips for saving gas right now through Twitter. Don't use those little tree air fresheners. Fold in the outside mirrors and throw the provisions for the trip out the window. <laughs> there they are, we passed them. <laughs> okay, now we've okay, we have passed, passed them, passed them. <laughs> you have reached the stopover. When you're driving, you get more and more ideas about what you can save. You could have driven a little bit faster sometimes. Yes, it was always hard for us to tell what the relationship is between economical driving and somehow making good speed and time. Yes, it's unbelievably tiring to drive so efficiently the whole time. We're getting closer all the time to something that's commonly accepted and in this respect, you learn for yourself from this. So the first refueling stop's done. We're a little flush with victory right now because we're ahead by more than a litre, so we're kind of in the lead. Now we've been passed by Team 1 and Team 2. Now we've just been passed by Team 3, the efficiency kings. Let's see what kind of underhand plan those two are hatching. I don't know if you can see it. We are, I think, really tense because we say we want to win this thing. We're really giving it everything we've got. So it's definitely paying off somehow. Well, I wouldn't have thought we would still achieve just over four liters anyway. This way you learn to drive with a little bit more foresight. If you make an effort, you can definitely achieve the average of 4.1 liters per 100 kilometers that Audi states. We weren't slow now either. You drive differently than you normally would, of course. We did well, didn't we? Super. 